last day at KMJ after almost 40 years. Check out this dynamic duo. Tyrone Bradley and Boyd Grant. Wow, how cool is this? Gentlemen, welcome. I'm glad you called. Well, yeah, it's good to be on with Bill. I mean, I was on with him so many times, and, uh, you know, uh, it just seems like to me that uh, without Bill, there uh, uh, just isn't the same Fresno State University. <laughs> That's for you, Paul. Oh, well, you know, uh, going back in my time, Bill hey, he's was right. the person no one could ever be Bill. I used to stutter really bad. And by me stuttering, Bill always made it comfortable for me to get my words out. So uh, even over the 40 years, I still listen to Bill. And actually, I'm going to miss him. Um, and, and, I, and, you know, Bill, you know, you shouldn't retire. Actually, you should go into education and teaching other people how to do their job. <laughs> hey, I helped you get that uh, monkey off your back, so... That was amazing. <laughs> well, I tell you, if, if it wasn't for you, I mean, even today, I still have a little glitch in my speech. But you made me a lot comfortable uh, talking in front of the camera, well, talking on the radio and in front of the camera. Yeah. Huh. Now, that's great. You were a lot of fun to watch. And Coach, we wondered when you brought this little skinny guy from Chicago in, what you were thinking. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, you, you know, Coach Thrash, I, I always say... Uh, uh, Bill, that he knew talent, and of course, just like Tyrone said, that uh, uh, you know, Bill, you were such a big part of, of Fresno State, and it was very true, just what Tyrone said. That whenever I went to the radio, I felt totally comfortable because you had that ability to make a person feel comfortable, and we had some some good laughs. I think we even laughed at Tyrone a couple of times. <laughs> I think you know? we did. Well, you know, the thing that's funny, though, Bill, is that I will never forget this is uh, one of the things that I remember the most is that my daughter, Leslie, who lived in Idaho at the time, she said, Dad, there's one person I, I just got to meet him sometime. And I said, well, who's that? And she said, it's Bill Woodward. He does all, all the announcing, and we go every place that we can where we can get uh, Bill on the on the radio. So she listened to you up in Idaho, and... Uh, and uh, and she wanted to make sure that uh, she got to meet that person behind that voice because she said you did such a good job and you always said the right things and you always were positive about Fresno State and and uh, so I want you to know you she was your she was her, your hero and I Bill I don't think that you realize uh, uh, and I know after 40 years but I don't think you realize I hope I can tell you this that. You don't know how many lives that you touched and, and how how good you made everybody feel about Fresno State University because you all were a very positive announcer and a guy with a great voice. And even I, when I left Fresno State, I, I picked you up a couple of times on the radio and you made me homesick, I can tell you that. You made me really homesick and because uh, I picked you up and, and got to listen to the game and, and you brought back a lot of memories. and. And uh, you made me, uh, you made me feel. Gosh, I wish I was back there in Fresno with it. Well, yeah, that's when you were at Colorado State, wasn't it? Yeah, well, and then after that too, it seemed like we. I could always pick you up somewhere in Nevada or something, and and I'd listen to the game, and uh, and it was really fun. And and you know, Bill, you started uh, there in Fort Collins. You, I mean, you you spent a couple of months there, and. Uh, so we even have that in common, Bill. <laughs> You're making me cry, boy. Hey, 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 Bill, I'll tell you a story, and the people, uh, they will love this one. We had just lost. Uh, Eric Booker had hit that shot, and we had just lost to UNLV, and that was kicking us out the NCAA in 1983 and made us go to the NIT. And I remember I was down, and I, and I had to uh, somehow go and find something to eat, and I saw you in a restaurant. And you picked my spirits up. Uh, I don't know if you remember that or not, but uh, that 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 made my night, and that made me go on. Cause hey, after that, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Cause my career was over. I didn't know we was going anywhere. But uh, you made me feel good. But that's but that's you, and that's your personality. That's what I say. I know you might be retiring, but you need to get into education. You need to get into education. Some of the coaches we've had since. Uh, Tyrone would have picked up the check for you. What's that? <laughs> oh, that, that Coach Sweeney? Yeah. That son of a gun. <laughs> well, you know, I, it was the games, uh, it seemed like it was in the fall, Bill, when I got to 
to hear you and you were announcing the football games and of course we coach sweeney was having great success did a great job and uh, of course uh, i never will forget uh, when he beat the university of southern california because i was so proud of him that uh, I was about to send him my check, only I'd retired and I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Verdet had me recruit you and you uh, were brought in to, to uh, see if you wanted to take the I remember you at job? You yeah. bet. I remember, and I always told everybody, you were the guy that recruited me. <laughs> you said you needed, I, you, you said, you told me, you said, Boy, we need uh, we uh, the staff is not too good looking over there, and we want to have a good looking basketball <laughs> coach, and you should take the job. And Sweeney, that's when I knew you were a great recruiter. Boy, yeah, no egos in this room. <laughs> well, I, you were a great coach, and you were about the fifth guy to turn the job down, so we had to get. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead last, wasn't I? Just <laughs> But I just wanted to say to Tyrone, too, Bill, that, uh, why you got him on there, that uh, uh, to this day, I'll tell you right now, Bill, he could have played pro basketball. He said he didn't know what he was going to do. Well, in my opinion, they missed a great basketball player in the pros, and he would have been just as good in the pros as he was in college. And I will guarantee you, he's one person that I can honestly say that I coached, that I felt bad that uh, well, got, he didn't got, get that opportunity because he could play. He was a great player. Probably yeah, one of the I, best I, I point guards that ever was. But you know what? My calling is here, right where I am. And I got the best job in the world, working with these youngsters. Uh, and a, a lot of it, it fell off of you, Coach, you know, teaching us how to do what we're supposed to do to treat people. And that, I mean, that's, that, that's what I do now. It's not a hard job. Uh, yeah. I think those guys in the NBA, they make a lot of money, but they got a hard job. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I, I, I got to get ready to go because I got a lot of students coming in. And I got to deal with them, but I just had to call in and say, Bill, hey, uh, congratulations on retirement, all that good stuff. But I still say you should retire. You should get into the and teach people how to do the job because you're very good at it. Hey, right. T-Bone, we're all very, very happy with the way things have turned out for you. You're well, doing a great you. job. But hey, you had a big part in it. Uh, okay. All right. T-Bone and, and, and Boyd, thanks for calling in today. We greatly oh, appreciate yeah. it. Okay. You bet, Bill, and boy, uh, have, I have a good retirement. I have a good retirement. I don't do anything, Bill. <laughs> so sit back and, and be like me. You know, I, I get a check from Social Security and one from Colorado State and one from Fresno, and, and I say to myself, gosh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> it seems like I don't even have to work to make money. Hey, I thought you lost all that money on the ponies. Well, I did that, too. No, let's not get into <laughs> that. I on the Kentucky Derby, too. Which is tomorrow. Yeah. Boyd yeah, Grant boy. and uh, I guess they might not have it, though, Bill, because the rain is so bad. You never can tell. We'll see. Yeah. Boyd but Grant anyway, and Tyrone Bradley, thanks a lot, gentlemen. we got to move on. We appreciate you calling in. This is KMJ. It's time to spring into savings at your Fresno area Lincoln Mercury dealer. And with the new 2010 Mercury Milan Hybrid, you'll save money even after you drive off the lot.